Hasta la vista, baby. Say good night. Thanks. I was wondering how I would destroy all the eggs. Why are you doing this? We never wanted them to live. Back when the first one was found at Roswell, well, we knew we had to find some way to destroy the race. Why? The race was too powerful. Much more powerful than anything Earth had to offer. They had to be controlled if they got out of hand. Blackmailed if necessary. What better way to control them than to find out their weaknesses? It's too bad your father had to find a cure. It complicated matters. You killed him, didn't you? These alien creatures could destroy the Earth in a day if they chose to. So I had no- You killed my father! Yes, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Then there's Scott, the PlayStation programmer. Emphasis on play. Jeff, yeah, overpaid, underwork, yeah, team leader, lead artist, game designer, blah, blah, blah. Then, of course, there's Keith, um, what's the artist, third cinema, yeah, big deal. Richie, artist, and Todd, music and sound effects. Yeah, Todd who? Then of course there's Agio. Music? Well, you heard it, so what do I have to say? The red or blue wire? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I have defused the first bomb. Good! Get your butt to the next one! There you go. Hey, yes, yeah, Sarge, this is Jake. I've defused both of the explosives. Level one and two are secure. Good job, monkey boy! I wasn't sure you had it in ya! Well, it's been real and it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. Your father would have been proud. What happened in there, Private? You'll be court-martialed for your incompetence. I will personally... Put your weapons away. These two will not be harmed. You have new orders. Let them go. Who was that? Something tells me we'll never know. Reese disappeared two days after we left the base. I never saw him again. My wife and I went to an unknown tropical island and I spent the rest of my life trying to forget what happened at Area 51. 
I couldn't help but wonder if I had handled the mission correctly. Could there have been another way? I guess I'll never know. I think it would end like this. I wonder if there was another way. A new and dangerous world awaits me. I hope I'm prepared. Is he alive? Yes. Where are you taking him? To a lab not far from here. Jake Burton he must be studied for several years. There will be many tests. <laughs> There was a better way. Here's your passports and new ID. Your wife will join you in Paris. You've helped mankind more than you know. I left Area 51 with the overwhelming feeling that I had just scratched the surface. Something just didn't seem right about Fitz's story. I couldn't help but wonder what was going on in the lower levels of the base. I guess I'll never know. There was a better way. Sir, all hell broke loose. I did what you I could. You deliberately disobeyed orders! You'll be court-martialed! Enough, Sergeant. And we had no choice. They had to be exterminated. Did they? As I left the base, I couldn't help thinking about the aliens. They came to Earth for a chance at life, and we took it from them. There must have been another way. Pity. He was a good Marine. Ah, loose cannon. Like father, like son. If he knew the entire truth about what really went on inside that base... Strange way to die. There was a better way. experiments to save our lives and escape to the lower levels of this complex. One of the mutations is very unstable and is laying egg sites, creating the next generation of our race. inside the notorious base called Area 51, standing with the terrorist responsible for the bomb scare. Hello, America. I have something I want to show you. <laughs> what you just witnessed is an injustice to mankind. That thing you saw attack that scientist was at one time a human. Project Broken Helix has gone too far. It started out as an attempt to find anecdotes for germ warfare and has turned into a bioweapons experiment. 
The military wants to create an army of powerful mutant warriors and is using human test subjects to perfect them. Why? For war, of course. Well, there you have it. After years of wondering why the government wouldn't even acknowledge the existence of Area 51, we find out why. Sarah Compton, reporting for Channel 28 News. Cut. It's a wrap. Name's Jake. Welcome to my world. Two, one. I'm standing outside Groom Lake at the edge of what is rumored to be a top secret Air Force base, although the government has always denied its existence. For some reason, air activity and radio traffic in the area is at its highest in recent memory, leading to speculation that the government covers up. When I was a kid, I loved to blow things up. Plastic army men were my favorite. The year is 2026 and I've changed. A little. I'm a special task force marine in the explosive division. Much to my wife's disapproval. Only now I defuse bombs. Before they blow my brains out. What a rush. I received a call early this morning for my next mission. I hate being woken up before noon. See, it's your standard diffuse and run, only this time the explosives aren't going to be popped in any ordinary building. They're in a classified place where the government hides anything that might disturb the average Joe. I know a little about it because my father worked there until his death 15 years ago. He died in a plane crash on the way to work along with 10 other scientists. Or so they said. I was only nine when it happened. The strange thing is that two days ago I received a phone call from a man who refused to tell me his name. He told me he was a friend of my father's and that soon I'd be learning more about his death. The next day I was assigned to this top secret mission. 
inside a place called Area 51. There are things I like about my job and things I don't. I hope you had your beauty sleep, Private, because you need it! What's the situation, sir? A scientist has placed major explosives on the first two levels of the base. He's threatening to blow them up if we don't meet his demands. Your mission is to defuse these bombs! If you look at files, talk to anyone, or even go to the bathroom before you defuse these bombs, I will take one of these explosives and shove it right up your... I understand, sir. You must avoid being seen by any flying security cameras in the base. If they spot you, the scientists will blow this base up. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You're trying to keep something in or out. Hey, what's with the escort service? This is Marine Commander Black Dawn. He and his men are going to clean things up after you complete your mission. You will contact me and let me know after you defuse the explosives. Understood? Yes, sir. What's your major malfunction, Private? Say it like a Marine! Yes, sir. Move out! It's showtime. Kiss it goodbye. Groovy. Well, well, what 
what have we got here? Jenkins, what are you doing? Tying up loose ends. <laughs> it's fun to abuse you. Say your prayers! 